video I'm going to talk about texting, right? This is a common problem my clients have. And this is the scenario, it goes something like this. So they'll go out, they go to a social group or, or wherever it is and, and they'll meet a girl, they'll build a connection. Uh, they'll like the girl, they'll get the phone number. And then when they come away um, from the interaction, they, they overthink about sending the message um, to ask the girl out on a date. Well, let's say that they met the girl in person and, and they had a connection, they had, some, they had a commonality within that connection and they said to the girl like, he said to the girl, we'll, we'll do a coffee sometime, she went okay. But when it comes to actually following up, guys will start overthinking too much. And what's really going on here is that you're, you're afraid to send the message and ask the girl out on a, on a coffee date or a date or for a drink because you're scared that she's going to say no, she's going to reject you. And then it's kind of finalized them. Then you've, as far as your mind is concerned, it's like you've lost the girl. So rather than um, take that chance, and there's always that chance, obviously, that a girl could say yes, she could say no, she could change her mind, she could reject you, she could, she could suddenly meet someone else, she could have a boyfriend, there's a, a number of things that could happen. And um, when, with regards to her saying no to you, a lot of guys will then, they'll make themselves go into the friend zone by sending messages but sending messages that they don't really want to send and messages that give a woman mixed signals. So you might send her a message like, hey, how are you doing? Or how was your weekend? Or, um, you know, you just, you might talk about other things, small talk, other things that are completely the opposite to really what you both initially agreed to exchange numbers in the first place. So a lot of guys have a tendency to maybe feel sorry for themselves in this situation and feel like, they're being hard done by by women and women are being mean and turning them down but in this situation it's not women it's you it's what you're projecting if you've spoken to a girl at a, at a social event or, or anywhere where, where you've met in public wherever it is online dating wherever it doesn't matter and you both have a connection and you've asked her for a phone number in promise that you're going to go for a coffee out and she, she agrees then you should stick to that agreement you should you should be congruent in what you said and what you promised and what you promised was to follow up and just say hey yeah it was good to meet you how about we we grab that coffee let's let's get that coffee let's go out at least that way okay i know it's not nice if she says no that's gonna hurt your feelings but at least you know where you stand and at least you're being yourself at least you're honoring your integrity and you're honoring her as well and obviously you're going to increase your chances of getting a date but if you start going backwards with the communication and you know texting messages that a friend would text a girl someone that's not interested in her romantically she's going to lose respect for you she's going to lose that spark or that attraction she's going to change her mind because she's going to pick up on the fact that you've got cold feet that you've lost your confidence somewhere within the communication or she might think you're playing games then she might not trust you because she might think i trusted him he was nice he said he wanted to, we were going to go out, grab a coffee. Now he's sending me messages asking me about movies and about... Look, and I'm not saying you can't send messages, but in this situation, it's better to be honest and clear. And again, it's about keeping promises. If you say to a girl that... If you meet a girl on Tuesday and you say on Saturday, I'm going to ring you, I'm going to call you on Saturday. And she says, okay, great. And then you don't call her on Saturday. Well, then she's not going to trust you. She can't trust your word. So this is what needs to change, guys. It's basically the root cause of the problem is, is the fear of rejection. Um, and the solution is honest communication and to be honest and clear about what you want. And obviously, you want a date. You want to see her. You like her in a, in a romantic sense. So you have to communicate that and you have to continue communicating that. You can't say to a woman, would you go out on a date with me? And she says yes. And then a week later, you're basically saying to her, um, we're just friends or, or um, you know, how's the weather today? It's mixed communication. You're confusing her. And that's probably why women will then change their mind. And some guys do this. They don't have the courage to text the message straight away from the start and just say, great meeting you. Do you want to go out for that coffee? They might send five or ten minutes and then they ask the girl that. And then the girl says, oh, actually, I'm a bit busy or she changes her mind. And she's done that because you weren't consistent and because you were indecisive and all these things give off unattractive behaviours. They're all, they're all insecure behaviours and 
you're not being honest. So fundamentally, the key to succeeding with dating is honesty, is honest communication, which obviously takes confidence and courage. And with being honest, you're going to have to risk being rejected. But the problem with, with being... Um, Maybe dishonest is a strong word, but the problem with not completely being honest and communicating what you want and what you know what your feelings are and what you want, that always causes problems and it you know you're in limbo then because you don't know where you stand and you're just delaying a response that could be positive or negative. I.e., she could say yes, I will go. I want to go out of you. She'll go out on a date with you, or she could say no. It's much better to know where you stand. If she does say no, at least you can move on. You can meet someone else. But if you're too scared to ask a woman out in case she says no and then you're just sending friendly messages to keep her in your life, somebody else is going to meet her and she's going to go for that guy who's more confident. So these are the things that you need to change. They're pretty straightforward on a practical level. Obviously, um, fear can be a terrifying thing for all of us, especially in dating. So you're going to have to work through that fear. And I have this conversation with quite a lot of my clients and I'm able to, usually in most cases, I can, I'm successfully... I, I can successfully help them to, to fix this problem, which is a communication problem, which comes from a belief, a fear of being rejected and, and, and trying to protect yourself from being rejected. But the problem with being too protective and careful, you end up sabotaging your, your dating relationships, opportunities, and, and potentially to be successful. Whereas when you take that chance and you're honest and you're brave and courageous and there's integrity, there's honesty, there's respect, um, towards women and yourself you're going to get you're going to develop as a person anyway and eventually you will get a better outcome so um, that's what you need to do in this guys let me know in the box below if this has helped let me know if this is a problem that you've had for a long time I find usually when guys have got this problem it's a it's a it's a recurring pattern that keeps coming up and it happens to it happens to, to them with many girls and they have to realize that it's not women that are rejecting you you are making them reject you by projecting insecurity and not being clear with your communication. There's not enough honesty, that you're not congruent enough with um, the consistency of your communication. So you've got to be consistent. No one's perfect. No one's expecting anybody to be perfect, but you've got to be honest and consistent. And you've got to have the balls. You've got to have the confidence to, to ask a woman out, especially if she said yes anyway and she's given you her phone number. She's going to expect nothing, nothing less so um, that's how you do it, guys. Hope this helps. Keep your questions coming in the box below. I make more videos, like, share. And as always, if you want to take your dating life to the next level, get in touch and book a coaching call for online coaching, for dating coaching and confidence coaching, or perhaps it might be a case where in person would be better, but we can discuss that when you send me the email. All right, see you soon. Fearless.